Show, uh, we have a special guest. Um, I'd like to welcome Adrian Cottrell, part of the Super Utes series that'll be running this weekend at uh, Sydney Municipal Park. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Good. Uh, good to be on the show. Yeah, thank you for uh, joining us. Now, <laughs> we've got some questions for you, if you don't mind. I'll let uh, Ivan ask those for you right now. Getting interrogated, am I? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but um, no, thanks for having us. No, uh, it's great. It's great to have you, Adrian. And um, it was uh, really, really good, you know, uh, to have another South Australian uh, back uh, in the Super Youth Series. We know that you um, had to miss round one while you were getting everything sorted. But uh, tell us about your comeback in Darwin and what it was like uh, to get to get behind, uh, back behind the wheel of your Super Youth. Yeah, no, it was good to be, be back in the series. Uh, like, you, like you mentioned, we, were, we missed uh, round one. So we're going out swinging uh, back end of this year. And, you know, championship really isn't on our uh, mind. So we can just go out there and aim for those top three, top five and, and sort of race wins. That's what we're gunning for and not have to worry about the points uh, side of things. is going to be a little bit of stress off our shoulders. So, yeah, Darwin was was a good, uh, good event and the whole town get behind that. Uh, that event and, and race meeting. So to get up there, and I haven't been up there since the Aussie Racing Car days, uh, probably around 2010, I reckon it was. So yeah, trying to remember where it all goes. It's a long time uh, I'm not being up there. So yeah, we got back in the swing of things. We were running up the front race, uh, race two, and um, yeah, we, we've got pace. We just got to find a little bit more for uh, for those top top few few cars. But um, we reckon we might have something for Sydney uh, next weekend. So. I found uh, really, really interesting, you know, how competitive the category has become and how the professionalism is definitely going up and the, the lap times between drivers, you know, there wasn't a lot in it. So qualifying, uh, you know, definitely proved to be very, very important. And uh, what's it like, you know, have you, you know, compared to 2023, have you seen a step up in the professionalism of the category? Yeah, definitely. Like you mentioned, it's just the depth that, um, you know, from other categories, people are sort of seeing it as a, you know, a V8 category that can really uh, rival some of the good support series out there. And yeah, with that depth in there, it gives that uh, uh, benchmark for, you know, how good you really are. And, and, you know, that top 10 or top eight is quality drivers. And then there's a few more coming at the back end of this year, which will even bring it further. So, yeah, that's what you want, you know. Um, you want to get a top three, top four, and you, you sit back and go, wow, that, that was actually a good race, and, and we're up right up the front. So, yeah, looking forward to the, the back end of the year, for sure. Yeah, I think the category um, definitely has a, you know, like definitely has a spectacle to it. You know, the cars are big. Um, the, com the competition is hard, you know, the door to door racing, you know, can happen in this particular category compared to say some of the, you know, Aussie racing cars, if they had the same, same amount of contact, you know, it would cause a big crash, uh, for them. And, uh, obviously, you know, uh, we don't need to remind you of what happened in Darwin. You know, you had a big, big, big moment. Uh, that was, uh, it was big, wasn't it? Yeah, we uh, got my attention as well. And I was looking out the passion side going, this one's going to gonna hurt but we sort of yeah and usually what you do in those sort of situations is yeah you lock the brakes down and just let everyone move but i did that and then yeah, there was cars i was sitting right in the middle of the track so i, I brought the clutch in picked the gear and got off the circuit which is sort of unconventional to what you normally should do in a in a moment like that but it worked out and it was for another day so yeah like like you mentioned that the cars are strong so so you can have a you know bump and bump and the uh, rub and, and the racing can continue and, and the management has done a good sort of uh, few changes with you know, wheels and things like that to try and you know not have a flat tire if you do have a bit of a rub and, and contact so they're built strong hard racing the fans want to watch racing they don't want to watch for follow the leader and um that's what they're proving to become a good spectacle at the moment yeah i had a um a very very interesting conversation um earlier today with luke cedars and we were talking about the the parity between the different brands and you know whether you're in a colorado or in a zuzu or, or in a mazda and the category you know works really really hard to make sure that they're they're all you know 
as even as possible. And I guess from a driver, it probably gives you, you know, that confidence that you can go out there and, you know, compete in a, in a level playing field. So tell us a, a little bit about your preparation for, for Sydney. Um, what are some of the, you know, I guess, soft targets that, that you've placed on yourself? You know, where, where do you think, uh, you know, by the end of Sunday, Sunday's racing, um, you can end up? Yeah, like uh, there's no um, hiding that, you know, Western Sydney Motorsport and, and the Cedars teams are from Sydney and, and they test a lot at that circuit. But sometimes you can sort of over-engineer it and, and you get yourself in your, a bad head state by thinking too much about something. So maybe they can come unstuck, but they're going to be quick there. We, we all know that. So um, preparation, like obviously this is the first time I've gone back to a track that in these cars uh, for the second time in, in my a short Ute career, so that will help. We got some notes from last year, which will sort of um, move towards. But they, um, yeah, the car slightly changed from from there, but we'll use that as a base, and we do a fair bit of simulator work as well to help that. We've done a shakedown last week at the bend, and the bend is very close to Sydney in terms of fast, open flowing um, corners and things like that. So um, yeah, we, we've. Made a few changes, obviously, uh, Darwin and the street circuits late last year with, with sort of a different philosophy on setup. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, get this, this uh, car up the front. So, yeah, we, we want to go out for race wins. Like top top four, top five is sort of where we would like to be. But, yeah, but I'm sure uh, race wins around the corner for sure. No, we're, look, we're looking forward uh, to watching all the action uh, this weekend. And for the Radio Italiana and the Let's Talk Motorsport fans, um, if they do want to follow you and follow your career um, in this you know crazy world of motorsport, uh, what are the socials? What are the handles? Yeah, pretty simple. Uh, Instagram, Adrian Cottrell. Uh, our team's Team 41. Uh, and then we've got our Facebook, Adrian Cottrell Racing as well. So all the updates and things like that and we'll be all over. Boxtel and KO, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this green rocket up the front of the field. Now, nah, looking forward to it, Adrian. We wish Thanks, you, guys. yeah, we wish you all the best uh, for for Thanks. this weekend. And uh, yeah, we're definitely, definitely um, looking forward to the uh, the Adelaide 500. And um, yeah, it's uh, we're definitely going to be chatting a lot more. Put it this way, um, leading up to that race. Oh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Thank you.